Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, two blue squares, the smaller uh, square A, B, C, D, and this uh, larger square E, F, G, C, put together, as you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, this uh, horizontal uh, segment uh, D, G length uh, is uh, 71 units, whereas uh, this uh, diagonal uh, E, D length is uh, 61 units. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, green shaded uh, triangle uh, D, A, P. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, larger square. I'm going to label uh, its uh, side lengths uh, lowercase a. Since all the side lengths are equal, so this is going to be lowercase a, lowercase a, and lowercase a across the board. And now let's focus on this uh, smaller square. I'm going to label uh, its uh, side length uh, as uh, lowercase b. Then this is going to be lowercase b lower case b and lower case b as well and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, ecd and we can see that this is our right uh, angle it's a 90 degree angle since we are dealing with these uh, squares so therefore we are going to apply the pythagorean theorem uh, on this uh, right triangle ecd and here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And in our case, our hypotenuse is 61, whereas our two other legs are a and b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. So we are going to have a, a square plus b square is going to be equal to 61 square. So therefore, we are going to have a, a square plus b square is going to be equal to 3721 and I'm going to label this one as our equation number one and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, segment uh, dg length uh, which is equal to 71 and our uh, dg length is uh, a plus b as well so therefore we could write uh, a plus uh, b is going to be equal to 71 and i'm going to label this one as our equation number two and now our task is uh, to solve for uh, a and b values and now let's recall this famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square plus uh, two times a b and here we can see our a plus b value is 71 and our a square plus b square value is 3721. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So we are going to have 71 whole square is going to be equal to our a square plus b square value is 3721 plus 2 times a b. So we can write this one, 5041 is going to be equal to 3721 plus 2 times AB. And now we are going to subtract the 3721 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, 2 times AB value is going to be equal to 1320. And I'm going to label this one as our equation number three. And now let's recall another identity. A minus B whole square could be written as A square plus B square minus two times AB. And here we know that our A square plus B square value is 3721. And our two times AB value is 1320. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this identity. So we got A minus b whole square is going to be equal to our a square plus b square value is 3721 and then minus our 2 times a b value is 1320 
and now I'm going to undo this square by taking square root uh, on both sides. So therefore uh, a minus b value is going to be equal to positive 49 and I'm going to label this one as our equation number 4 and we here we are ended up with these uh, system of two equations equation 2 and equation 4 and we are going to solve this system for uh, a value and b value as well and now we are going to add these two equations we can see this uh, positive b and negative b is gone so therefore 2 times uh, a value turns out to be equal to 120 let's divide both sides by 2 to isolate a this 2 and 2 is gone so therefore our lowercase a value turns out to be 60 units and now we know our a value is 60 I'm going to substitute its uh, a value 60 over here so therefore we could write uh, 60 plus uh, b is going to be equal to 71 and now we are going to subtract uh, 60 from both sides to isolate b this is gone so therefore our lowercase b value turns out to be equal to 11 so thus after all the calculations and manipulations our a value turns out to be 60 and lowercase b value is 11 and now let's focus on this uh, big uh, right triangle uh, ECD and this uh, tiny right triangle uh, EBP we can see this angle is a 90 degree angle and we know this angle is common to both of these uh, triangles so therefore we conclude that these uh, two right triangles uh, triangle uh, EBP and this uh, other uh, triangle ECD are our similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem and now we know that our this uh, a value is uh, 60 so therefore this a value has got to be 60 as well and likewise uh, our b value is uh, 11 this b value is going to be 11 likewise this b value is 11 and finally this b value is 11 as well and now let's make an observation we can see this uh, tiny segment eb length is going to be 60 minus 11 is going to give us uh, 49 and i'm going to label uh, this uh, tiny pp length as uh, x so therefore uh, this uh, pb length is uh, x and since uh, these two triangles are similar so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words the ratio of uh, segment uh, pb and this segment eb is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, cd and ce and we can see our uh, pb segment length is uh, lowercase x our uh, eb segment uh, length uh, is uh, 49 and likewise uh, our uh, this uh, cd this uh, length uh, is 11 so i'm going to replace that one with 11 and finally ce length is going to be this whole side length which is uh, 60 so i'm going to replace that one with the 60 over here as you can see in this uh, next step and now i'm going to multiply both sides by 49 to isolate uh, x and here we can see this 49 and 49 is gone so therefore our this segment uh, x length uh, turns out to be equal to 539 divided by 60 so thus we could see that our uh, this uh, x value turns out to be 539 divided by 60 and we can see that x uh, represents this uh, bp length so therefore our uh, this segment uh, pb length turns out to be 539 divided by 60 and now we are interested in calculating this uh, ap segment length and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, ap segment length uh, is going to be equal to this whole uh, ab length uh, minus this uh, tiny pb length 
as you can see in this equation a p equals to a b minus p b we know our uh, this uh, a b length uh, is uh, 11 and our uh, p b length uh, is this one so therefore our uh, a p segment uh, length uh, is going to be equal to 11 minus uh, 539 divided by 60 and here in this uh, next step we can tweak this uh, 11 as 660 divided by 60 so therefore our uh, AP segment length uh, turns out to be 121 uh, divided by 60 and here is our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded uh, triangle uh, P A D and we can see this uh, angle is our 90 degree angle since we are dealing with this uh, square and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times base times the height of the triangle and here we can see the base of this triangle is this uh, A P segment length which is uh, this one and the height of this uh, green triangle is uh, 11 so therefore the area of this uh, green shaded triangle is going to be a half times uh, 11 times uh, 121 divided by 60 let's multiply and simplify that is going to give us uh, 1331 divided by 120 so thus the area of this uh, green shaded triangle turns out to be 1331 divided by 120 square units and that is going to be approximately equal to 11.1 square units as well and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye